Jay Weatherall believes he can still form a majority government, but it's most likely he'll rely on support from the state's two independents. Bob Such and Jeff Brock were called to his office this afternoon as the pair begins negotiations with both parties. Coming together for a cup of coffee, two independents with one massive decision to make. I want to listen to both sides. I want to be able to analyse that. I want to be able to talk to Bob. The main thing is, what do the people in our electorates want? The members for Frome and Fisher were called to a city meeting with the Premier, who's wasted no time trying to win them over. I've uh, passed on uh, my uh, best wishes and congratulations on their result. Stephen Marshall, slower off the mark, starting correspondence with a text message. I would have loved to have had a phone call to start off with. That came later, when Marshall organised his own meeting for tomorrow morning. And we'll sit down. We'll look at their concerns, we'll negotiate with them in a respectful way. History shows cabinet positions could be offered as a sweetener. I'm not going to preempt the negotiations that are going to uh, occur over the coming days. Look, I don't know whether uh, those two gentlemen are even interested in those sorts of positions. Bob Such has been a Liberal Minister before, but these days has no such allegiance, strongly criticising the party for its aggressive campaign to steal his seat at this election. I can't understand why a party who may want your support is out there kicking you in the guts. It's unclear if those tactics will cost Marshall victory. No, look, I think that Bob Such made it very clear uh, when I spoke to him today that he's looking forward to a meeting. Such and Brock will meet with the Liberal leader separately, unsure if they'll make the same decision. Maybe we, we might go different, two different directions. We'll hope, try not to do that. Jay Weatherall will be hoping for the support of both of these independents, but the way that voting's going at the moment, he may only need one of them to form government. Look, if I were a betting man and I'm not, I'd say that Jay Weatherall would uh, be in a much better position than Steve Marshall right now. Ben Avery, Nine News. Bob Such and Jeff Brock broke bread with Jay Weatherall late today, but are still some days off anointing either him or Stephen Marshall Premier. They'll be looking at several issues, what each party is offering their electorates and where the voters in those seats sent their own preferences. The Electoral Commissioner tells me it'll be seven days before a result will be known in those last few marginals. So let's have a look at the state of the House as we see it, bearing in mind a number of pre-poll and postal votes to count through the week. Labor incredibly has 23 seats, just one short of an outright majority. The Liberals are lagging on 21, but they're expected to pick up that one undecided seat of Mitchell, where Corey Wingard is 0.7 of a percent ahead. So Stephen Marshall probably has to win over both the independents to form government. Jay Weatherall may only need to woo one of them. But there are some long and arduous discussions ahead of them all before we find out who will govern South Australia for the next four years, guys.